Here's what you need to know. Winter weather advisories just issued for the Wasatch Front tonight starting at 7 p.m. And then we have winter storm warnings for southern Utah. The snow is starting to fall right now in Ridgefield. Just checked the cameras. The roads are starting to get a little slick, so you want to make sure that you are traveling with caution if you have to head out. Weather headlines, winter weather advisories for the Wasatch Front. Winter storm warnings for southern Utah. Tomorrow morning we'll have a slick morning commute. And we'll also have some very gusty canyon winds tonight especially near Farmington and then our temperatures will be extremely cold the next few days and our next few nights. So we're just getting going with the cold temperatures right now. It's about 35 here in Salt Lake. However, it feels like it's 25 with our wind out of the east right now, about 15 miles per hour. St. George cloudy sky but still dry roads. St. George even could see some snow out of this system. So right now the area of low pressure is off to our west. That's why we're seeing this counterclockwise flow, a southwesterly flow across southern Utah, and that easterly flow here across northern Utah. And that's the setup that brings the very gusty canyon winds. Let's go ahead and zoom in right now to the Wasatch Front. We are starting to pick up some snow out of the system, mostly out towards Dugway up through I-80 and over the Great Salt Lake and then out towards Magna, so right near Kennecott right there. We're also starting to see some snow coming down in the Cottonwood Canyons. This may end up being a sleeper storm for the Wasatch Front Resorts as well. Now for southern Utah, our heaviest snowfall is coming down right now in Washington County as we go ahead and zoom in right now. So Enterprise over towards Zion National Park, so Tokerville, Hurricane, New Harmony, Leeds, those are the areas that we're really going to start seeing the snow ramping up if it's not already at your house and for Kanab, very gusty winds, mixtures of rain and snow temperatures right now, low 30s for the Wasatch Front, 37 in Cedar, St. George 48 cooler temps are on the way. Salt Lake live look from our IMC camera facing towards downtown. We have the cloudy sky right now and our temperatures the next few hours will be around 25 to 30 for the rest of tonight. We're going to see some chances for snow tonight on and off. Very gusty conditions at times as well. And then we'll see that cool down to about 20 degrees when you first wake up tomorrow morning. We'll have some chances for snow tomorrow morning on and off. So we could very well see a very slick drive tomorrow morning. By 7 o'clock, we'll, we'll be around 20 to 25 for Provo, Eagle Mountain, Tooele, Salt Lake, and Ogden. And then for St. George, you'll be in the 30s tomorrow morning. So you could see a mixture of some rain and snow across even the St. George area. Now tomorrow at 4 o'clock, we'll be still in the 20s for much of the Wasatch Front, hardly warming up tomorrow. So the cold temperatures are yet to come. If you thought the cool down was what we've been having, that's not it. We've got some very cold overnight temps ahead. So future cast, 7 o'clock tonight, snow's really getting going here across the state, and we're going to bring it even further north than originally anticipated. That's why that winter weather advisory was issued. We'll continue to see areas of snowfall through Wednesday, Friday, we could see another quick push and then we'll be dry through the weekend. So how much more snow are we talking about? Southern mountains, one to two feet of snow. We're looking at central mountains, six to 12 inches of snow, northern mountains, six to 10, maybe even up to a foot of snow for the Cottonwood Canyons. Wasatch Front, one to four, St. George Trace to three. We're looking at travel impacts expected across a lot of the state. St. George close to 40 Wednesday, Thursday, 50s return this weekend. Overnight temps in the 20s for St. George the next few nights. And for the Wasatch Front, our highs tomorrow in the 20s near freezing Thursday, Friday, warming back up closer to average Sunday into next week.